In this problem, I gave you x equals to 2y squared, which is a side wave parabola. Since I want y greater than 0, then you don't need to worry about the piece where the, where the, piece, the piece that is below the x-axis. So y equals to 0, x equals to 2, we have a region bounded by those curves and lines and then I want to make a rotation about x equals to 10 x equals to 10 is horizontal so that's why this will be a dy interval so what is the first thing that you will have to look at the first thing that you will have to look at is let's recall the concept of not the concept the, uh, the concept and the formula of the shell method so for the shell method what you have is you have an integral right you have uh, from point a to point b and then you have 2 pi r times the height and then times either dx or dy how do we get this so first of all the 2 pi r times the height you have a rectangle so let's make the rectangle nicer you have a rectangle that looks like this so the 2 pi r is the base and then the height is there and then once you take the 2 pi r times height so you have the base times height then you get a 2d area it's a two-dimensional object once you consider the dx or dy you just make the 2d becomes a 3d like this so now this is three-dimensional once you consider the dx or dy so this dx or dy then you will consider the thickness this thickness is either dx or dy so when you do that you have a 3d object first of all how do we find the radius to find the radius let's take a look at a rectangle so this is a dy problem so the rectangle is going to be horizontal like this so we have a uh, let's take an, an, another color so we have a point right here so using the midpoint rule we take that as a midpoint and then another point right there we take that as a midpoint we line this up then we get our rectangle so this is our rectangle and then the radius is asking what is the radius between this rectangle and the revolution axis so since the revolution axis has a bigger y value i will using the revolution axis 10 subtract the rectangle which is just y so what is 10 that is x equals to 10 minus the y is any y in the region so any y in the region so that will be your radius and then you also have height so what is the height the height will be right curve minus left curve so that is right minus left the right curve is the blue line that is x equals to 2 the left curve is the red curve that is 2y squared so this is x equals to 2 minus 2y squared x equals to 2y squared and then you can set up your uh, your integral so the volume is equals to y goes from where to where so when you find the y you may have to do one extra step because when you take a look at the y i can see that y goes from zero to this point so y goes from zero to that mark so what is that mark let's find that out so that will be the intersection of x equals to 2 and the curve so when x is equals to 2 we have that equals to the curve so that is 1 equals to y squared then we have y equals to plus plus past 1 and negative 1 how come there are two intersection because this side wave parabola has two pieces one above the x-axis one below the y-axis if you draw the one below y-axis that will intersect the x equals to 2 one more time so that's why there are two intersections since we only care y greater than 0 then we just take this one then then this is from y equals to 0 to y equals to 1 so y goes from 0 to y goes to y equals to 1 and then we have 2 pi the radius 10 minus y and then the height that is 2 minus 2y squared and then dy so this is our interval for this revolution axis so let's do one more revolution axis let's take a look at this one how about this one down here 
how about y equals to negative 16 or negative 19? How's that? How does that change the radius? So when you have that, the radius is the distance between the orange rectangle and the revolution axis, which is you use the big Y minus small y, so that will be any y minus y equals to nine, negative 19. So this is any y in the region minus y equals to negative 19. And then the height, no change, right? So that is the blue line minus the red curve. And then your volume is equals to integral from 0 to 1, 2 pi r, y minus negative 19, and then times the height, 2 minus 2y squared, and dy. All right, so that is the end of this problem. If you think my instruction is helpful, let me know in the comment below. Like the video, share the video for me, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Signing out for now, see you all in the next one.